All right, you ready? OK. Now what we're going to talk about here is applications of the standard deviation. And very often, students ask the first day this question, do you grade on a curve? Do you grade on a curve? And does anybody know here, what is the curve? What's a curve? Has anybody had that experience where you took a class and they graded on a curve? Really? You guys had that? OK. What was the experience? How did they grade? Whoever gets the highest score, what? What did that do? Huh? I think what sometimes happens is people, when they say they grade on a curve, what she's describing is that the highest score now is the what? Total possible? Is that true? Is that what you guys believe the curve is? Well, no, it's not the curve. That is something, though, but it's not the what? The curve. OK? That's some other system. The curve is based on two values. It's based on this thing, and it's based on this thing. <coughs> what is that? The mean, and what is that? What is that? Standard deviation. Okay. Standard deviation. You OK with that? Now, the mean, again, was the center of our data. Is that true? And what was the standard deviation? How consistent our data was. So this thing that we call the curve is based on those two values. It has nothing to do with the highest data value, lowest data value. It has only to do with the center, its mean, and the what? The consistency. You guys with me on that? OK, this is how it works. I'm going to draw a picture of what we call the curve, the real curve. So if I take the real number line here, this is going to represent what my data values are. right? I got data here, 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 I guess, here, various data values all over the place, fine. <coughs> the center here is where the, the mean is going to be. You guys OK with that? This is where this is. This is the center of your data. You guys with me? OK. Now, if I do this, I'm going to create these intervals. This first interval I'm going to create by taking the center and adding the standard deviation, taking the center and subtracting the standard deviation. This is an interval. OK? Now, this interval surrounds what, what value? What is that? The mean, is that right? OK, I'm going to create another interval. I'm going to take the mean, and I'm going to add two standard deviations. Take the mean, and I'm going to subtract two standard deviations. So here's how this works. Everyone whose scores are around the mean within one standard deviation, meaning in this interval, this is the interval surrounding the mean within one standard deviation. Okay? Add a standard deviation, subtract a standard deviation, one standard deviation. Everybody here, what kind of grade do you think they'd get? Well, great. Why would they get a C? Why would they get a C? Why would people get a C if they're within that interval? Well, think about it. Why would you get a C if, if your score was around the center of the mean? Your score is around the what? The mean, the center. It's around the average. You guys remember? They call this the what? The average grade. See what I'm saying? So if your score is in that interval, it's an average 
cutting a score because it's around the center. That's the mean, the average. See what I mean? If you score more than one standard deviation above the mean, but less than two standard deviations above the mean, you're above average, what grade do you think you'll get here? B, the what? Above average grade. Similarly, if you score what? Below the mean, more than one standard deviation, but less than two, what grade are you going to get now? Why a D? Because it's below what? Average. That's the below average grade. Okay? Below average. If you score more than two standard deviations above the mean, more than two standard deviations above the mean, isn't that pretty good? What grade do you think you get here? An A. Yes. And if you score more than two standard deviations way below the mean, what are you going to get now? Fantastic. Is that true? OK. Now, this here is what we call the curve. This is the curve. It's not all those other things that people create, some other alternate system. Right? The curve here is this scale we created. It's dependent upon the center of your data and the what, how consistent it is. Now, now that you guys see this curve, how many of you guys actually like the curve? Do you guys like it? What do you think? You don't like it? I don't know. Let's see. Let's try to test this. <coughs> do you guys remember we talked about the syllabus? How much are your test scores worth? Remember? What do you? 150 points, right? OK. So 150 to 135 is an A. 134 to what? 120 is a B. 119 to 105 is a what? C. 104 to 90 is a what? D. An 89 to 0 is a what? Fantastic. This is known as the standard scale. You want to know why they call it a standard scale? It's the regular 90, 80, 70, 60 percentages of total points. Now, here's what's going to happen if we say the first test, the mean of the first test is, mm, I don't know, maybe about 115 with a standard deviation of 25. OK? I'm going to ask you guys to do two things. Or a few things. <coughs> then you're going to do this. You're going to create, we're going to create the curve scale. Okay? Let's create the curve scale. It's right here. And then we're going to determine. the following grades. Here's the name. Here's the score. Standard scale. And then the what? Curved scale, curved grade. So let's say your name is, let's see, Yowsdy. Yowsdy, guess what? She scored 